This video is simply showing you how I wired my 30 amps up to my trailer. If you get this wrong, it can be fatal. If you are not sure of yourself, then you need to consult an electrician. In our last video, we installed the 30 amp shore power into the pop-up camper. Today, we're going to expand that 30 amp circuit so that we can use appliances and lights inside the camper. One of the first things we have to do is find a resting place for this gallon's apartment size refrigerator. The refrigerator has to be positioned where it won't slide around and it has to be anchored to the floor so it won't bump up and down. It also has to be able to slide in and out of the cabinet to be able to be serviced or replaced when needed. I had to remove the existing frame that I'd already installed and I also realized that the refrigerator door would open up backward. Once I got the door switched, I installed some one by twos around the perimeter of the refrigerator to establish boundaries so it won't slide around. And then I drilled it for three eighths eye bolts on each side so that I can attach a ratcheting strap to them. Then I slid the refrigerator into place for a test fit and everything worked well. So I could attach the strap across the top of it to keep it attached to the floor. The ratchet on this strap is positioned so that we can reach it inside the cabinet door to release it whenever we needed to service the refrigerator. Then we rebuilt the frame around the refrigerator and then I glued on the plywood face on the front of the cabinet. I clamped the plywood onto the cabinet and allowed the glue to set up overnight. While the glue was drying, I installed a 110 outlet, it's a 15 amp circuit, towards the front of the pop-up camper. You'll also notice that the outlet I'm installing have two 110 ports and two USB ports as well. And then I installed another 110 15 amp outlet behind the refrigerator so that it could be plugged in all the time. Again, I installed the green wires on the green ground screw, the black wires attached to the gold screws, and the white wires attached to the silver screws on the outlet. I also installed clamps to hold the wire around the frame so that it would be out of the way. Now it was time to install our 1000 watt DC AC converter. This will allow the appliances and the lights to run off of battery power. You can see this inverter has two fans on the back and on the front it has three 110 outlets and it has one USB port. It also has a screen that shows you the watts you're using and the voltage of the battery and the voltage coming out of the inverter. We're also installing a 12 volt, 100 amp hour AGM deep cycle battery. The battery weighs about 60 pounds, so I want to position it straight over the axle. In order to maximize my storage capacity underneath the seats, I wanted to install the inverter at an angle this also helps me to be able to read the screen on the inverter whenever I lift up the seat bottom. The battery anchors are just like the refrigerator anchors. I use 3 8 eye bolts and a ratcheting strap to hold the battery down. Here you can see I ran a red positive cable from the positive post of the battery to the positive post of the back of the inverter. And I also did the same thing with a black negative battery cable as well. You'll also notice that I ran a 10 gauge green ground wire from the negative terminal of the inverter to the screw on the side of the breaker box. This will provide a ground to the frame. Next, I needed to install a male 110 plug-in for the outlets so that I could change them from shore power to battery power. The screws in this plug-in have the same color coding, green for ground, the gold goes to black, and the white goes to silver. Once all the wires are attached internally, then you close the yellow cover and you screw it tight and it pinches down on the wire. Now my circuits that I've wired in can be run off of the shore power if I plug into the white boxes, or they can be run off the battery if I plug into the inverter. I added another 110 outlet towards the back of the trailer, just like I did the front of the trailer. I also installed another plug in on that circuit as well. Now I'll give you the overall view of all the outlets installed, the wires installed, the refrigerator and the battery anchored down, and the inverter installed and operating. On the little screen on the inverter, you can see the voltage of the battery. You can also see the hertz. It should be 60 hertz for the 110 circuit. You can see the volts going out, and you can see the watts being used if anything is using the electricity. Then once the refrigerator kicked on, you can see that it's got 12.5 volts, 60 hertz, 117 volts going out and the refrigerator is using 58 watts of power and you can see the battery usage icon on the left and the little smiley face means that the battery is happy now the electrical system is ready to be used i hope you learned something thanks for watching i've got more to come